Thank you, Yasser. Yes, I'm here with uh, Victor Bologan, a uh, chess player, one of the strongest chess players that Moldova ever produced, now the executive director of uh, FIDE. Victor, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. How are you? Very good. Welcome to Bucharest. Tell us a little bit, how does it feel to see these top players uh, back in action? Well, first of all, I'm very happy that uh, chess is one of the first sports which managed to do it and to come back to the real, the highest level possible. I mean, we had the candidates, now we have this grand chess tour, and I see the, they are more or less, they didn't forget how to move the pieces, that's good. Definitely didn't forget uh, how to move the pieces. For the past year and a half, uh, there's been a lot of hurdles in uh, the world of chess. Tell us a little bit, how did FIDE deal with those? How did you guys put together the candidates, the longest uh, chess tournament in history? Yeah, in the history, yeah. Actually, I was su suggesting them to apply to the Guinness Book, because uh, that's uh, really the longest uh, competition in the history of chess. But uh, we actually, again, we are a lucky sport. We managed to organize very important competitions online. And one of them was this uh, online chess Olympiad with uh, many, many, more than 100 countries participating and uh, with different time zones and with all that. We, our team, uh, we have a very good team, they succeeded. So uh, it was not like completely empty life. It, there was a lot of online chess and uh, that maybe kept the chess player's brain awake. Absolutely. That, that was uh, incredible efforts by FIDE. The top players are definitely getting a lot of action, but what about, let's say, the 2,500, 2,600 professional chess players? What does FIDE has uh, in store for those guys? Well, we try to organize some competitions, and uh, still, I mean, okay, first of all, we uh, increase the number of uh, the participants for the World Cup. Now we have uh, over 200, which is uh, a, another chance for those players, exactly 25, 2,600. Uh, to participate in this uh, world championship cycle properly. It will start now in Sochi and uh, uh, actually in the beginning of July. So uh, that's one thing what we did. Uh, of course, uh, it was not possible to, to move everything we had online, uh, but still we managed to I I introduce this hybrid type of tournaments, which gave some possibilities for that, uh, that uh, level of players to compete, especially in the zonal tournaments. So, and of course, uh, many of them, they found themselves in teaching. You know that now chess professionals, almost everybody is doing both is playing and teaching. So, and teaching online again, that was a huge boom of teaching chess online. So that was a possibility for them to support them financially. And I wouldn't say that all the merits belong <laughs> to FIDE, but uh, at least the uh, chess players are still okay now. And of course, we are aware that uh, there is not only elite chess players, and we want to organize more tournaments for that level of players. Absolutely. Uh, let's say chess has been quite fortunate in that regard, allowing us to uh, continue our activity online. Uh, you talked a little bit about the World Cup. There's uh, somebody big that's going to play in the World Cup. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, I don't know. There is uh, M, M guy, guy <laughs> Magnus, maybe. Uh, of course, um, that's a world champion, and uh, it's always prestigious to have uh, the world champion in the tournament. And we'll see how he will perform. But we had some pro uh, some big names who had problems in this uh, knockout system. I remember not losing the first game to the unknown player. Actually, I, kn I knew the guy very well uh, from France, but uh, no nobody else knew this name. But he managed to beat uh, Anand in the first game. So the surprises might come even to Magnus. I mean, the chess now it's quite uh, challenging. You can play uh, like uh, 2,500 uh, player, but that might be not your day. So we'll see, but of course it's good to have the world champion in the tournament. Of course it's great, great news for FIDE. It's huge news uh, for FIDE. Thank you very much, Victor, for joining our show, and good luck with uh, all the organizing this year. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Victor. Guys, back to you.